check out that depth of field. We're using the Sigma 20 mil 1.4 with the Sigma MC11 adapter. This is crazy wide. Check out that depth of field right there. Crazy. Um, anyways, but today we're gonna be talking about color science using the Blackmagic film and converting it into the Airy Log C format. When I'm talking about color science, I'm talking about how each brand makes their colors specifically to their own picture profiles. So now the Sony, Panasonic, Zcam, Blackmagic, whatever other cameras out there, even the GoPro, each brand has their own specific look, either using the Z-Log or S-Log2, HLG, the Blackmagic Film. But today we're gonna to be talking about how to transform the Blackmagic Film colors into an Airy Log C color space using the color space transformation tool in DaVinci Resolve. So now we're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this quickly. Okay, so we have our footage in our media pool here and this is stuff that I shot a few days ago on a music video. I shot this in, I shot this in uh, ProRes 422 HQ on the Pocket 6K only because I am a fan of the 4K um, quality on this camera um, by all means you can shoot whatever you want and if you even shoot this in raw or pro res you're still gonna get the same look um, so up here I have my LUTs and the area log space transformation tool already added but I'm gonna show you how to do that so I just created a node and this is straight from the camera so now first thing you want to do is drag your footage in your timeline and create the proper timeline according to what you filmed in. So now I shot most of this video in anamorphic and 3.7K and a mix of 4K with 1.33 times um, lenses, which was the SLR anamorphot. So these are my project settings right now. So if you want to copy this, by all means, go ahead. This will give you like the widescreen look that is made for the widescreen feel and the anamorphic as well. So now, for an example, you drag your shot in here. So now this is straight from the camera. So now what you wanna do is, is add a color space transformation. Now, the, the way you're gonna do that is go to open effects, scroll down to color space transform, and then input color space, reuse the pocket, the pocket cameras. So now, the Gen 5 did come out, but it's not gonna come on this version of DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna use the 4K film Gen 4. Now you can already see a difference when you use Gen 4, it adds a different look. You know, the, the oranges or reds and the greens. Now the input gamma, we're gonna change it to the pocket 6K film Gen 4, cause I filmed this on my 6K. And then the output, we're gonna keep it to the 4K film Gen 4. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with, without, but we're not done yet. So now the output gamma, we're gonna use the Airy Log C look. So now stuff is gonna look a lot flatter. Um, so that's with, so now that's without the Airy Log space transformation, and then that's with the Airy Log space transformation. So now what we're gonna do is add another node. I'm gonna go up here and just get that in there. The one Malera Pocket 6K to Alexa LUTs. And you're going to go to the Rec 709 and we're gonna go in post-production. So now when you hover over these, you're gonna see the colors changing a little bit different and a wide dynamic range roll off. You can see the clouds are a little softer and then each one's gonna give you a, a different specific look. So we're gonna go with maybe this one. We're gonna drag and drop it. So now click and drag the LUT and we're gonna just maybe change the white balance and you can even some color boost in there as well. And then now right away you have a beautiful, clean, saturated image that you wouldn't be able to get if you're using the Airy Log transformation. So now if we wanna use just the LUT without the Airy Log, we're gonna get something like this. It's a lot more contrasty, a little bit more saturated. Um, but my personal preference is something that's a little softer look. So now I'm gonna show you how to do this on another clip. For an example, this was another shot, um, B-roll shot specifically for the music video. 
So up here we have my color space and then we have the Pocket 6K to Alexa LUT. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the LUT straight from the camera. That's what, it looks pretty flat. Um, looks okay to me. I mean, coming straight from the camera with the film profile. But remember, you have to go in your camera raw and change your settings to the camera. So now when we add the Airy Log to our footage and the Alexa LUT, this is the shot we're going, the final product of what we're gonna get. <laughs> Right, guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found this information useful if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up if you have any comments let me know in the description and we'll see you guys next week peace